Very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel slide. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. <laughs> Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Who 
foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs the paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiendish Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. When the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. While this icon is on screen, please do not turn off your system or remove that was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route to our first target. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Yeah. 
something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. <laughs> Found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This 
page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. I see, chaps. My heart is congratulations to you all. Thank <laughs> you. 
super slide. Hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves. she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2.
Machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said?
stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. jumped into that barrel for protection. I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Thank <laughs> you. 
technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's it's you mean my holographic markers yeah yeah and i'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus <laughs> Chests. 
Do not let a crab take one into a two.
Pilot 719. Oh, you lucky sly! This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Delightful. We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine? You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado... Let me make amends by exploding to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are! Bring it on. For Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah, you will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. 
You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. We're all set to go to Mesa City. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> Lines. The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a gutter. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
to toss your cap, then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Thank you. 
This mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Yo, hey, yo, yo! It's the boss! Yo, am I the voice to win? That may be driving everyone out of town. While necessary to set up shop, might have taken a hit out of the business. So, now I hope you must be obliged to any visitors and come here to lose their money in my casino. But, I got a reliable tip that a cop might be stupid around the operation. So from now on, greet any visitors you see with a hail of lead. Capish? <laughs> for the winner? Yeah, three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them. I'm on it.
Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. I'm going in, Sly. Oh. No! Come <laughs> on. 
gonna need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Dial in 468. for mugshots additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your binocucom to get the information. Well, well, look who just walked into my crosshairs, Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. I was getting worried about you. I thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself.
Thing I know Navajo code talk. Try five three two. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt. You won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water.
I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is 565. Five. to attack you the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Mug. I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. Thank you. 
What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and... <laughs> and... and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick! Uh, wait a second... I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know that Singus Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint. I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right! You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you! Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. <laughs> His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys... Well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle.
don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is... Jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it.
if I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Miss Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in.
to this one. Try four, four, four. <laughs> ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Koop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster in each hideout and project guard information into your binocucom.
with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with the boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit.
facility. I'll pipe this information into your binoculum. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby.
able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
analytical ability. The combination has to be 571. Slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it.
with all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toad roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? Creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flop. See you in the next world. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. I have my servant Chumley escort you over here. All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. 
If not, you'll get zipped! <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough.
But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the payment king. He's tough with a capital T. You go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get pulled back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. giant statue and you can bet the panda king lit the fuse i've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town Thank <laughs> you. 
Huckleberry Cooper developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick.
Unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it.
in chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Input 932. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. I'm going in, Sly.
the trajectory of these rockets and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boost you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control.
How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Thank you. 
I see you carry Cain of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you... You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. <laughs> King's section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor. 
Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's Lair! We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? to make it all the way through.
careful, Sly! Those tiles are booby-trapped! You better get out of there! Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Haven't had to do this in a while. Okay, I used the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Uh-oh, it looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, Bentley.
Out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last! <laughs> I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team and all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. <laughs>
you in the background of all those old pictures in the previous raccoons. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate. A waiting a day when I will finally accept your family's thieving reputation. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps that create!
don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I must have been the world about your precious book. The Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. And the Cooper line will be erased, and the only monster thief will be Clockwork. <laughs>
practice with mine. My experience is greater. My skills are superior. some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's Claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray. Boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission. We're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again.
I hate to tell you this, Sly, but the Phoebus Raccoonus isn't fully restored. You're gonna have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing. There is some good news, though. A friend of mine in Japan just sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us! いやー危なかったまカルマリータちゃんには悪いけど今回も俺様たちの勝ちだこのデータファイルがあればコウちゃんの敵が打てるあれはまだ俺が子供の頃だよく父ちゃんの膝の上で遊んでたっけ俺様の一族は代々伝わる義族の家系そして受け継がれた技をまとめたのがこのラクーナの名称だその洗練を極めた忍びの技。だが、そこには必ず守らなければいけない厳しい掟があった。義族たる者、名誉にかけて狙うは悪党のみ。善人からは奪わない。ところが、俺様が秘伝書を受け継ぐことになった夜、突然5人のギャングがやってきた。奴らは、俺を守ろうとした父ちゃんを。そしてとうとう見つけ出してしまったんだ。この大切な、ラクーナの秘伝書を。奴らは俺様の全てを奪いやがったきっと中に書かれた技を使って悪いことをしでかすに違いねえそして俺様は独りぼっち町の孤児院に入っただがここで素晴らしい仲間に出会ったんだ天才発明家頼れる相棒ベントレそしてマーレ食いしん坊でちょっとドジだがまあ憎めない弟分さ仲間と一緒に俺様は父ちゃんの敵を討ちそして秘伝書を取り返す。クーパーの名前に恥じない義族になれるか、それとも失敗してご先祖の顔に泥を塗るのか。さあ、俺様たちの運命は、どっちだ How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Thank <laughs> you. 
the code had better be 231. Stopper technique. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. At long last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the fiendish five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. This is going to be fun. Sly, the Thievius Raccoonus is complete! Now, try beating all the Master Thief's sprints to unlock the designer's commentary. Once you've unlocked them all, I've got a special behind-the-scenes movie to show you.
Hey Sly, hit the select button to bring up your mission map. From there, you can check out the stats on places you've been to, and also take some shortcut warps to get around faster.
Teresa.
Sly, you've beaten all the Master Thief sprints and unlocked all the designer's commentary. Check out this fascinating behind-the-scenes movie. <laughs> How should I describe Sly Cooper? Charismatic, suave, debonair, cool, slick, fast, stealthy, athletic, just a daredevil. Sly Cooper is charming thievery. We started with the idea that we wanted to do an action game where the, the primary character was a thief. The choice of a raccoon was a pretty natural fit in terms of you know, obviously the, the mask being in place, um, being, uh, as Dev would say, a creature of the night. 
We very early on wanted to make a game that looked and felt like a cartoon, but was one step closer to realism rather than flattened graphic. We started experimenting with different ways we could bring this character to life, uh, cell shading, how to make it feel like a cartoon but still feel like a great 3D game. We want it to actually look like it was inked and painted. And we want the backgrounds to be, you know, really lush and have a painted, a painted look. So it looks like it's a, a living animated episode that you've been thrown into. When you look at the game initially, the first thing that draws you in is the beautiful art style and lush, very, very lush uh, look of the environments. But when you actually play the game, the gameplay itself is lush as well. <laughs> The original conception of uh, the Sly character uh, was a much more realistic raccoon, chubby and not quite as lithe as the character is now, and it kind of evolved as we went along. Once we got to that part where he kind of evolved into what he is now, um, my main job was to take him and try to put every bit of thiefiness into him that I could. He was kind of tiptoeing and he's really like rearing back to like ease his foot forward, trying to keep all his weight back so his foot falls softly on the ground and really try to, to hone his personality through subtleties in the movement and really try to push the thiefiness. As we wanted Sly to feel really agile, we wanted him to feel like Sly could do uh, the most amazing physical feats. You want to let the player of the game feel like they're a thief, not like a real thief, like you wish thieves were. Sly Cooper's story is really cool. He comes from a long line of super raccoon thieves. And the source of their kind of thieving greatness is this book called The Thievius Raccoonus. It's this incredibly valuable heirloom that is stolen from Sly's family when he's very young. He has come of age and now he feels it's his noble duty to take back the Thievius Raccoonus. Sly has two buddies, Bentley and Murray. Bentley provides a lot of the plans for their missions. He does a lot of things that are very important for Sly to complete his missions. Murray has a huge case of, of Sly envy. He wants to be Sly in the worst possible way, and he has absolutely none of the capabilities to do it. <laughs> A hero's only as good as his villains. We wanted to create villains, you know, making them dangerous, making them menacing, making them goofy. Just giving them as much personality as, as Sly Cooper. It's a super high bar um, being in the action adventure category. I mean, all of the greatest games, the best games that are out there are all action adventures. The genre is such that you have to really excel in every single phase of the game. Going from saying Sly should be sneaky to actually having him feel sneaky in the game is hard. You have to start and you have to get the animation right, then you have to figure out how the engine's gonna play the animation and how it gets affected by where he is and what he's doing and how the player can feel in control at the same time. People are doing shoot 'em ups and, and things with you know big weapons and things like that. And this had this is all about character, so you can like, get the feeling of I, you know I am sly and I'm I'm sneaking around. Anytime we can exploit anything in the environment, build it in a way that you know as sly's running over, it might seem more stealthy. We completely exploit that. And our golden rule is whatever is thiefier wins. If you want to make a game that looks different. The PS2 gives you the opportunity to do that. As a programmer, it has a ton of tools for doing, for solving all sorts of different types of technical problems. A big focus for us um, has been in getting our tool set to the point where the artists were really unconstrained. Artists will come to us with, they want the game to look this way, or boy, can we have a line around all the characters, um, the cell shading that we do, or how can we do the lighting models so that things that are bright have certain colors on them. And, they have a, a lot of really cool ideas, and uh, I and the other people on the programming team work on trying to get the technology put in place so that um, so that we can you know make those ideas happen. What we were able to do was put together our own lighting algorithm in the vector units, and then do the same thing for the cell borders that we put around all our characters. We could get it to all run super fast and have it all look different than other games. That was really our goal from the start: was to have a game which looked different. It's been an interesting process building a team to build a game like this. It's been great working with such a 
dedicated group of people. I've, I've never really ever worked with a group I think is as hardcore as this. It really does require unbelievably talented artists, unbelievably talented programmers, and unbelievably talented designers. How you doing? The designers, I think, have done a wonderful job of giving players the experience of sneaking and being a thief and at the same time making the designs accessible to people so that you don't need to be a super gamer in order to play it, although there are tons of things that are in the game for those people. We're making a game that anyone can play. You can't just have great art, you can't just have great code, you can't just have great characters, you gotta have it all. It's not about just how the game looks, it's about how the game plays and how how the player experiences it, and it's all about having fun. You can make a really cool character, but he's not fun to play, it's not worth doing. Sly is cool, he's collected, he's adventurous. Sly is Sly. It is not a misnomer. Thank you. 